and work my way out. Keep at morning friends I wanted to show you how I am making this decoupage wreath that is going to look like this and these are actual shells and just so you know I did first paint all of the shells with one coat of chalk paint you could also use acrylic paint for this project and I use the Americana decor chalky finish and it's called everlasting this is their white color what I did was I decoupage these with a method now most of the shells are not this big I'm just showing this one to you because it's done <laughs> the others I'll show you how I in a way I kind of feel like I am painting the napkins on so I will show you how I paint the napkins on the pattern doesn't matter for me all I was concerned with was that I wanted these colors in this napkin so I will show you how I painted the napkins onto these shells, which is one of my favorite projects, and then how I turned it into the wreath. So, so after I painted all of my shells and put them aside to dry, I then took the napkins that I wanted, and these are very large, and again, I'm more concerned with the colors, not the pattern. So what I did was to make it easier, I cut up the larger pieces first, because most of these shells are around this size. Then I separated them. Always helps to dampen your fingertips a little bit. Go to that reinforced part of the napkin, pinch it, and pull the other layers away. If your fingers are too wet, you'll tear the napkin, and if they're not damp enough, you can't really get a good grip. So once I separated all of my napkins, I took the shell, and place the napkin over the shell. And as always, I took my Deco Art napkin decoupage glue. And something else that really helped me is I'm using a brush. It's a very soft brush with an angle on it. It just seems to help paint the napkin onto the surface. I don't need this whole napkin piece. So I'm going to wet the outline just tear that away makes it a lot easier to work with place the dry napkin over the dry surface taking my brush dipping it into the napkin decoupage glue and you'll notice it looks like i am painting so what i'm doing is just applying the decoupage glue now you see how it's gotten into these tiny crevices I always start in the center and work my way out. Keep adding decoupage glue to your brush and make sure you get all the way whoops, to the edges. So I go in what looks like a star or an asterisk pattern, which is start in the center and go out now once i have all the decoupage glue on there i want to go in the direction of the shell and don't try to take these edges off yet let's just let these dry now a little tip is you can put these in the oven here's what i do i put these on a cookie sheet but first I put parchment paper down. I line the whole cookie sheet with my shells and I put them in my oven which is not yet turned on. 
I turned the oven, or I set the oven rather, to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. I leave these in there. When the oven dings to let me know it's reached 170 degrees, 175 is fine too. I then turn it off and I leave these in there to cool down with the oven. Normally about 20 minutes to a half an hour later I go back. And one of the reasons that I do that is because if there are any tiny wrinkles, that heat from the oven causes the decoupage glue to melt a little bit further. These napkins get baked onto your surface so it's a nice firm hold. And then you don't have to worry about anything pulling up or coming away. You don't have to worry about wrinkles and you've got a beautiful shell which I will show you when I'm done with all of the shells. So I'm going to take the rest of my shells and do this to them and put them in that oven. So here are how these came out after being in the oven. Obviously they've cooled off and you can see that there's there's some excess on the back. I love to use these acrylic nail files or the files that are made for acrylic nails. Make sure you file in one direction so that you don't pull any of your napkins away. And some of these, you can see there's chips in them or up here the top broke off. I don't mind that because since we're making a wreath, I'm just going to cover these areas up. So I'll finish sanding these. I'm going to be adding triple thick glaze because this provides a seriously rich, deep gloss. And I'm going to be adding the fieriest glitter that I can find over top of this. I'm just going to apply the triple thick and while it's wet, I'm going to add that glitter on and put these aside to dry. And when you're using triple thick, you always want to make sure you're using a bristle brush, an artist's bristle, bristle brush, <laughs> as opposed to a sponge brush. You can't use a sponge brush, cannot, with the triple thick. So I will add the triple thick to a couple of the shells. And I'm making sure to get in these grooves and get down to these ed edges, the ends of the shell. I'll do a couple of these just to show you what I'm doing. And the triple thick works really well to adhere the glitter, so you won't need another coat of anything when you're done with the triple thick. And I'm going to pour my glitter on, add glitter and triple thick to the rest of my shells. By the way, when you're done applying the glitter, just tap the shell a little bit. Sometimes glitter will land on top of glitter so that when it dries it looks like there's some flaking off. It's actually just flaking off where there wasn't any triple thick. So if you tap it a few times like this, anything that's loose will come off. I have an extra sheet of plastic here so that I can save all of my beautiful glitter. <laughs> now I'll put these aside. Hey guys, it is pretty late so I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little softly. I'll try to adjust the volume so that you can hear it okay. And my husband and the doggies are all asleep so I don't want to wake anybody. But I'm trying to get this video done in time for this week's Thursday morning release. So I wanted to mention I'm going to play around with gluing these on in different... I mean, I'm going to play around with the placement before I glue them on. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. For the shelves to adhere permanently, it needs to be a very strong glue. So I'm going to have the link below for the glue that I'm using. But in the meantime, I'm going to glue all of my shelves to the wreath, and then I will come back tomorrow when everything has dried, show you how it looks, and provide you with links for all of the products. So here's our completed shell wreath. And you'll notice that I have a little seahorse in the center there. And I got a mold for this and used paper clay because it's nice and light. 
and I used a piece of nylon string to attach it so that it's hanging from the wreath. Of course this will be hanging up against a flat surface so this will lay nice and flat. But I wanted to move this out of the sun a little bit too because there was way too much sparkle and I could barely see it through the camera. <laughs> so here we are in a little bit of shade. And that is how I decoupaged these shells. I used hot glue to put them on here. Just arrange them in whatever way I wanted to. I used hot glue on here first and now I'm going to use a permanent adhesive. So guys, don't forget I am on Facebook at Upcycle with Decoupage. And if you come over there and like and follow that page, every week Facebook will notify you when I put new videos out. And thank you so much for sharing the videos. That is a huge help to me. And for all of my lovely subscribers, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And guys, I will see you again next week with another video. Again, the links for everything will be right down below this video, and I will see you next week. Thanks again, friends. Bye-bye.